You don't need two guesses to work out where that comes from, Alex. He is going to look to explode the face of young Shiratori if he can. As you mentioned, though, he does have a very quick low kick. So maybe he'll use that against his uh, tall opponent. He does, and he uses them in close. Shiratori joins us today, coming off a win at Rise 130 uh, in February, February 3rd last month. He says he's watched Hector's fight, so he knows he's very aggressive. Uh, and this is probably going to be a wild fight. He's actually been fighting very regularly. He fought in uh, November, December, and this year in February. Shiratori clipped him there with a right lead hand to the jaw. Very sharp one two there from Shiratori. That wasn't really a one two though, was it Alex? It was a one two. Yep, one two, but he's uh, got his hands up well though. Uh, Santiago, guarding well, but that's what he wants to do, get him in that corner and unload. Yeah. Shiratori moving his, using his movement well though. Shiratori does not want to be backed up into the corner with the hands of the dynamite Brazilian Santiago. Now, in this 61 kilogram tournament, there are four Japanese competing as compared to the 58 kilogram tournament with only two. So half of this tournament are homegrown. Shiratori has he's shown his speed and quickness so far, but he doesn't want to take too many risks here. He's still firing with some rapid punches. Well, you can definitely see the uh, pattern this fight is going to take. One fighter will want to close the gap, and the other one want to keep that gap and keep his back off the ropes. Oh, nice combination there by Santiago. Yeah, Santiago, he had him up on the ropes here and he was able to unleash a few combinations. One minute left in round one. When he's launched, Shiratori has landed with those low kicks. Oh, nice, heavy in low kick there from Santiago. Setting up his kicks with the combination there, Hector Santiago. Shiratori firing back with his reach. Oh, nice combination of Shiratori. Starting to heat up a little bit here now. 15 seconds left on the clock in round one. Nice body punch and followed by a knee to the body by uh, Santiago. I've noticed a few times in this round he has been going down with that right hand to the body. I wonder if he's the, that's his setup and then he's going to bring it up and try and lower the boom. There's the bell signifying the end of round one. Fairly even first round, I'd say. Yeah, they were both showing each other their speed and power, but not really opening up fully so far. The winner of this fight will go through to the semi-finals to face the winner of our fight later on the card today between Taiga, who is Hiroya's brother, and Sexan or Kwam Wang. So we could see a Japanese semi-final or an international one. Tenshi Nasukawa's father there, the head coach there at Team Tenpen, giving Shiratori some excellent advice coming into this second round. I imagine Shiratori is going to turn up the pace a little bit in the second round. Yep, round two is underway. Santiago in orthodox. Shiratori in southpaw. Looking for that way in, there he goes with a low kick, Santiago. Double hook combination, reply from the Japanese. Popping the high kick in, popping the low kick in, high and low, Santiago. Replies with the low kicks also, Shiratori. 
Popping in a really hard left cross there, followed by another one. There's the gap closed. No clinches, of course, so we see some really good flurries once they get in there. I should have shown, shown some very nice compact punches, especially that left hand. And definitely, the, the distance is definitely closed compared to the first round. Yeah, Santiago's finding his way in there now. Not finding his way through the guard of Shiratori so far, but he has definitely found his sweet spot in the pocket. Shiratori doesn't seem as concerned about keeping his distance this round. Maybe he sees something. Yeah, yeah, I was expecting him to stick and move a little bit more with that jab. Uh, he has been using the, he's been threatening with the left cross a couple of times. And here we go, opening up with a comp combination now, Taiju Shiratori. Long teep there, good work from the Japanese. And going to the high kick now. Thiago replies with the body and the low kick combination. Shiratori's corner calling for him to throw a combination of three. Oh, nice head work there and footwork from the Brazilian Santiago just ducked under there. Very nice in low kicks by Shiratori. His opponent's inner left thigh. The scissors are up. Kick there. Shiratori opens up his combination with an uppercut. 30 seconds left in round two. Very strong guard from both of these fighters so far. That was a slip, wasn't a down, but it was a, a big right hand, a big right cross there. Goes to the body now, Hector Santiago. Oh, looked like he didn't, didn't like that much. He did some damage there. Yeah, that could be one of his keys here against the taller opponent, Shiratori. Especially with that uh, very long, thin body. I'm sure he sees that. And you see Shiratori firing right back to the boys. Obviously, that damaged him. I'm oh, fighting too. You get hit to the body. You want to give him that right back in the same place. Yeah, it's, a, it's an automatic reaction for a lot of people, but it leaves you exposed. That is a uh, close round to call there, tough round to call. What do you think, Stuart? Yeah, I have to say that the end of that round there, Santiago opening up with the, the body shots and the knees uh, and the hooks. He's found his range. He's starting to find his sweet spot. Shiratori finally firing off some very nice combinations, ending him with a low kick. The first half of the round, but the second half of the round, Santiago definitely came on. I think this third round is going to decide it. Or we might actually see an extra round. We might do, yeah. Bearing in mind, this is the seventh bout of the evening, and we've only seen one fight so far tonight go the distance. Round three, final round. Round three on the way. This is the first round of the Rise World Series 29 men's 61 kilogram tournament. And Santiago knows what he's got to do. He's got to come forward, bring that passion, land those punches. Santiago watching that jab very carefully of Shiratori, making sure he gets his head out of the way. Nice right hook. Looking for a high knee there. Didn't connect onto the face of Hector Santiago. Santiago forcing his way in now with a right cross. There he is. He's got him up on the ropes again, and he's going with that body rush to the head as well, up and up and down. Also going to the body, Shiratori. Santiago has to keep finding his spot in the pocket there, or else he'll be on the end of some nasty, nasty punches and kicks from Taiju Shiratori. I think this pressure, though, is definitely, uh, at least in my eyes, is uh, possibly winning in this round. Pressure and the going upstairs and downstairs. Yeah, Shiratori, he's showing the downstairs with the, with the body punches, but he's not really doing any damage there. 
I think he's using it as a way to get upstairs, get his punch and ups, and also it does make a very good impression. Yeah. Also, I think, too, being the foreign fighter coming to Japan, he knows he's got to make an impression. Shiratori, I've noticed in the, his evolution, he's standing a little bit more upright now. Obviously, being tall in Japan, he's used to having to stoop a little bit to spar with guys, you know? Love he's on the back foot now. Santiago chasing him down. Like to the body, the, looking for the uppercut. Like some more action from Shioto if he wants to get his decision. Yeah. This is, in my eyes, very close fight. He doesn't want to hang out in that corner. So far, Hector Santiago is putting it to him, to the body, ducking under the punches, still back to the body. Santiago is ducking that head down, possibly dangerous to Shioto. Lanky bringing a high knee. Oh, very nice body shot by Shioto. <laughs> Just under 30 seconds left in the boat. Things are heating up here now, Hector Santiago. Still trying to chase him down, looking for a knee. Shinto has been on the canvas, no damage, but many times this uh, final round, which is not a good look. It's not. Let's see what he has left here in the closing seconds. Giving it all he's got from Brazil, Hector Santiago. They smile and hug it up. Let's see what the rise judges say about that action here tonight in the 61 kilogram tournament. This is the first. I wouldn't be celebrating so much if you be back in my corner. I would drink water, relax, you know, because you never know this is a definite possibility of an extra round. Here's some of that action in that high knee. Shirato, you're looking for that high knee. Had it connected, things could have gone a whole different way for Hector Santiago. Pushing his hips really nice. Nice snap there from Taiji Shiratori on the end of his combinations. <laughs> Shiratori. 30 to 29, Shiratori. 29 to 28. Oh, Hector. Hector. This is a close one. Twenty-nine to twenty-nine draw, which means we will see an extra round. They are back up in there. A little bit of a hard night's work for these two here tonight. This is the first extra round we've seen here in this tournament so far. Yeah, three minutes have to leave it all on the table. You know, if they don't take this this round, they're out. No second chances. We'll put it all on the table. We know Santiago is going to come forward and bring it all, but he's uh, Shinotori. Is he going to open up? This is where it gets down to who wants it more, who's got more left in the tank, who has that warrior spirit, who has the better technique, who has more power, the better time in there, straight back at it. Santiago unleashing some of his power to the body, to the face, to the legs of Taiju Shiratori. Shiratori firing back. Trying to use his reach, but he's back down on the canvas there again, Alex. Like you said, not a good look for the judges, even though it's not a down. Also tiring, too, to pull yourself up off the canvas every time. Oh, starting to catch him now, Hector Santiago. Taiju Shiratori. Has to keep his composure here. He's kept it so far, but he's starting to lose it. He's going to stay get off those ropes. He's on oh, fire back. He's on defense mode now. There's a long teep. That's what he needs to do. He needs to get back to his stick and move. Oh, big uppercut from the Brazilian. One minute last in this extra round. It's all on the line here. Whoever wins this goes through to the semi-finals in this tournament. She has Tori starting to clip him now. Santiago maybe fading. Alex, what do you think? Possibly as a uh, punch himself out, maybe. 
He's still got the head movement. Awesome knees, some punishment to the body there from Shiratori. Shirato is definitely coming on. And this last minute of the fight is going to be, uh, or last minute and a half, he's going to decide it. Having to dig deep here now, Japan versus Brazil. Santiago with the dirty boxing, moving off the centre line, doing a good job of staying in the face of Shiratori. Good Shira left hook by uh, Santiago there. And if one of one of the two fighters staggers the other, that could be it as far as the decision. Oh, Shiratori's <laughs> clipped him. He can sense it. They're both, as they said yesterday, this is not a doubt, as they said in the conference yesterday, this could turn into a brawl, and it certainly has. Crowd is getting very animated here in the Ota City Gymnasium here in Tokyo, Japan, here tonight. We are live on Fight TV, and this is some incredible action in the Rise World <laughs> Series 2019 tournament first round. Less than 30 seconds left on the clock. Still going back and forward. Still pushing for the win. You can see Shiratori's punch is a little more hurtful than Santiago's, his final round. He's still firing back. Exchanging blows. <laughs> It's like a swap meet here, this is just incredible stuff. How do you score that? I would have to give it to Shiro Tori myself. He uh, staggered him in the final round. San Diego lands some good punches, but no visible effect. And Shiro Tori lands some good punches and actually staggered his opponent. I think that'll take it for him. Yeah, he clipped him. Uh, I think that could be enough in the eyes of the judges. But, you know, I'd almost like to see another round of this. It was a great final round. Hector Santiago, 25 years of age, Taiju Shiratori, 23. Here is some of the action. There's where he clipped him. Let's go to the judges. Judges, Sato, Jutai Q. Ten to nine in favor of Shiratori. Jutai Q. Ten to nine in favor of Shiratori. And another 10 line in favor of Shiratori. Unanimously, all the judges agree that Taiju Shiratori did enough in that extra round. Absolute war against the Brazilian Hector Santiago. Santiago brought it all and left it all on the table. He fought a very great fight, but just wasn't was never reached the finish line. I tell you what though, Alex, that is not an embarrassing loss for Santiago. He will get invited back for that kind of performance here tonight. World-class stuff. Definitely. Just do what he had to do, did it, but unfortunately could not damage your toy. Landed punches, but wasn't able to damage him. The Team Teppen Rise lightweight champion himself, Taiju Shiratori takes the victory after four rounds, the fourth round, an extension all the way to the judges and pulled it out from the bottom of his heart to take the victory. Let's see what he has to say for himself on the mic. Sorry. This was a very important for me, important fight for me as a champion. But Hector was very strong. And it went the full distance. I wanted to show you a much better fight and win than that. But I'm still going, I'm still on my journey. We are not finished. Thank you, everybody, for supporting here tonight. I'll be waiting in Osaka in April, he says.